Hey, what up boys? Welcome back to Dark Souls 2. And today we're getting into the smelter hammer. Yeah, so starting off as warrior, bonfire aesthetic. But welcome back to Dark Souls 2, boys. Keep commenting some builds because I'm just going to be doing some more builds from now on. And because I'm a little bit rusty, I'm going to need a simple run just to kind of get used to the game once again. I have a route already planned for this. It's not a complicated build. It's pretty easy. And the simplicity is the beauty of it. So, so it's going to be a lot of fun. In the meantime, it's been a while, my guy. <laughs> So yeah, we got a set. We're gonna need that, of course, to get a lot more souls. Unless you like wearing armor, don't kill him, but I don't really care for armor in this game. I like the uh, endurance increase without armor. So as usual, uh, making my way over to Dragon Rider, get some souls, uh, pick up some items in the No Man's Land, and then we're gonna straight rush for the Great Club, because we're gonna use that in the meantime to get to uh, the DLC, which means we'll have to get past a few bosses. But you know, it's kind of inevitable. Nothing else we can do. If there was a faster way to getting the Smelter Hammer, I would do it. I just it's not possible. Please fall. Oh hell yeah, he fell. A little bit rusty. Seven steps, my guy. Don't forget about that origin. I don't need her, so I'm killing her. I don't give a shit. Unless I need her, I'll keep her alive. We'll do a challenge one that one day where I don't kill her and uh, Malin. But for now, like I said, I just got back into the game. Let me do what I used to do. All right, so we pick up her key, of course. That's actually where we're going to be heading. We have to get past Skeleton Lords to get to Kodas Demon, then Mytha, and then... After Mytha, it's just Old Iron King. We don't have to kill Smelter Demon, we can skip Smelter Demon, so I'm really glad to have you guys back. It's been a long time. Oh, I still got it. It's been a while since I played DS2, and I'm, I'm so glad to be back on it. Iron Arrows, which we'll need for the Sanctum DLC. All right, get the Fragment Branch of Yore. Kill this fucking lizard. We'll get in Tiny Shard. Oh, they're awake. We can pick up the Royal Soldier's Ring as well, in case we need that. Burn our Sublime Bone Dust. Like 20. Endurance. Vigor. I will do 22 and 10. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, perfect. So now we can get the Great Club right away. The Cat Ring. So let's hope I have enough souls. Oh, one more. That should be enough. Actually, I think I'm 200 less than what I need. No, I got it. Okay, now we can go to the gutter right now. Get the Great Club. Let's go do it right now, bro. No wasting time. No wasting fucking time. So we're just using that Great Club until we, uh, just to get past uh, the bosses to get to the DLC. And then we're just gonna use the Smelter Hammer. And let's see if we can take out this bad boy. He has some large Tainite shards, so I'm gonna need him. Maybe if I... Yeah, I could take him out. Better. Do it again. Beautiful. Yeah, so a large Tainite, two large Tainites, or two Tainite shards, and a Dark Knight Stone. A few items in this spot. We're gonna go pick up everything we can. Get another Estus shard right here. All right, roll here. Get a Soul of a Proud Knight. And if you're not feeling confident like me right now, grab the fucking bonfire. Not that one. Oh, it's the, oh, there we go. That was unintentional. That's what I needed. Great club. There we go. Boom. That was not what I meant to do. Anyways, 20 life gems. Great club. Let's get out of here. So yeah, we got that great club. 28 strength. Yeah, so we can two-hand it. Hell yeah. So we're going to reinforce that up as much as we can. I mean, it's not even plus one. Large Sinite. There we go. These guys drop large Sinites, if you didn't know. And Tainite chunks. And they can kill you pretty fucking fast, too. Just like that. There you go. This is the fucking Discovery Channel. The more you know. Things in Dark Souls can kill you. Once again, don't be scared about this guy. He does not hit you. He'll fucking intimidate you, but he won't actually hit you. Got that ready for later on. Let's go back to Majula. And let's make our way over to the uh, Forest of the Fallen Giants. Talk to my shorty. Yo, wah guan, shorty. Wah guan. Get the key. Ten life gems. One of these. Two of these, as the usual. Talk to her. Uh, get the ring. The soul's ring. Keep talking to her so she relocates back to where? Majula. That's right. Pick up another Titanite Shard in here. What up, bitch? Big boy damage. Hell yeah, Titanite Shard. That's it. Let's get out of here. And we can just pick up a few items here while we're at it. Hit me. Stupid. Head up here. Uh, Estus Shard, and that's it. Let's get out. Jump here. There we go. Talk to my dude. Fuck, I don't give a shit, bro. Just give me the goddamn key to the house. I'm a fucking real estate agent. Here we go. I've never showed this in my video before, but if you use a Ferris locks on here, uh, it opens up this door. And in this door is two chests. One of them which has a Clorinthy ring, but not plus one, which is the reason why I never really do this because you can literally just get the plus one after you free the Pyromancy woman. You can just go to the Shaded Ruins and literally get it right there. A Tainite slab, but like I said, I never really found it useful enough to come down here. I never really needed the slab until after 
but this time we actually might need it. It's still useful. It saves you the trouble of having to look for another one. You can just get the one here and that's it. And then there's another Tanai shard. Anyways, we're gonna get the quest line for Pate, of course, and Creighton to get the engraved gauntlets for some critical hits. Buff up our weapon. There is a staff in here. You can use dark weapon. Anyways, talk to him. Make sure you exhaust his dialogue so he, uh, you know, proceeds with this quest line. And then as usual, pick up the fire arrows. Short bow, we're gonna need that for DLC segments. I'll get more later on. So I might as well reinforce this. Because I'm committed to damage, let me go back to here, get the, the watch dragon parma. I will farm for the large tanai shards and the tanai chunks. And then just use the slab on this, because we'll get we'll get another slab later on. Hell yeah. So we get a shield, we get a petrified dragon bone. We don't need that, but we just need the, we just need the shield to boost our item discovery. We'll put that shield on. We'll come back for Orsine later, of course. We'll save him until we get the uh, smelter hammer. Oh, here we go. Tainai chunk, beautiful. So the chunks are more rare than the large Tainai shards, roughly. This R1, R2 thing, it just works so beautifully. It feels so right. Like, watch this. Look at that. It's fucking amazing. Look, it even gave me an item. See? Tainai chunk. That's so amazing it is. Dude, we need two more Tainai chunks already. It's been like three minutes since I said that. And tie that shard right there. Perfect. God damn, is that shit fucking hard. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, there we go. We got tie night shards. We're chilling. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. We got one of those. Just need one more. So, oh, wait. Oh, baby, our fucking luck is amazing. There we go. So we got three more and six more. That was like, what, six minutes? Crazy. We had zero large tie night shards in one tie night chunk. And we got, we got what we needed in six minutes. I'm telling you, it's fucking fast. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Plus nine. Let's we'll see the damage. 499 beautiful oh, i love it and just like that we got plus 10 we haven't killed a single the only boss we killed is dragon rider if that's not fucking broken i don't know what is bro this is so fucking easy we went to the gutter with the cat ring farm those guys for the, for the shards we got the great club in the gutter it's a pretty good weapon especially infused this thing is a fucking beast what do you guys think let me know in the comments does this or does this not look like a pretty strong fucking build right now a plus 10 great club this early on only after killing just dragon rider infuse this weapon and you're gonna get more than 4.99 you're gonna get like 570 something i'm gonna buy the uh, bright bugs before i forget we're gonna take out rotten and once we kill him it's gonna uh, increase the price for the bright bugs so we want to make sure we buy the ones that are at 6k right now every time you kill a great lord boss it increases the bright bug price so make sure to buy them first and that's why i love dark souls 2 it's so fucking simple and fun like you don't need to do so much shit and go to so many areas to get materials to reinforce your weapon we'll go pick up the uh corinthy ring plus one what up boys ring around the rosy let's go come on boys y'all miss me oh y'all miss me huh oh i'm fucking one shot in them i don't have to ring around the rosy for shit bro i can just kill y'all <laughs> kiss my ass yo what up bass let's jump up here let the door open to push the guy out the way get a silver proud knight pick up the silver proud knight keep on running run past chris walker Get the rtsr boom there we go so these guys shoot double the arrows on like 60 fps or some shit i don't know that's what i heard in the comments i'm maybe mistaken i might have misheard but yeah look at that look at that shit what the f <laughs> recorrect me guys if you may anyways silver proud knight human effigy twinkling titanites yeah i'll pick i'll, I'll pick two fuck it and that's it quarantine ring plus one in this chest and you boys know how it is in this area there's a shit ton of souls scattered around so we're gonna pick all those up first thing first jump here all right, pick up the Sublime Bone Dust. Right here is one of these souls, Silver Brave Warrior, perfect. And then we pick up another Silver Brave Warrior. Tiny Chunk in here, right there, there you go, Tiny Chunk. Roll here, pick up another Silver Brave Warrior, hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Roll here, and then the fucking Lizard, bonk his ass. And yeah, actually there's another another Tiny Chunk right there. I'm still gonna have to pick these up because I'm obviously gonna use them on the Smelter Hammer. There is a Silver Brave Warrior. Then you wanna jump down here. Talk to my dude, we'll get the Dark Lurker quest going. If we pop all these souls, 29,000. Pretty fucking good. Honestly, a decent amount. That's more than Dragon Rider. It's another broken uh, early game strat. 26,000 souls for free here. Just gotta pick up the scattered souls and that's it. The highlight of the video is the Smelter Hammer. The whole objective is to just rush to get that. All right, here we go. Triple attack bullshit. R2, hell yeah. Good damage, good, good damage. Keep it going, buddy. That was very awkward animation. I saw that. You are not slick, buddy. Wait. Oh, I didn't wait long enough. It's fine. There we go. Jumping attack. Beautiful. Come on, buddy. You miss me? Jumping attack again. I used a gold pine resin too early. Not a big deal. 
All right, one more hit. Hell yeah. Easy. Big boy damage. All right, let's head to, uh... oh, we don't have the DLC key. I'm stupid. Hey, we'll just get more damage, of course. It's 68 more damage. It's crazy. Pretty fucking nice to have dark weapon on this uh, great hammer to get past the old Iron King myth and all of them. So I'm going to get 16 and 14. I need uh, a two-minute slot. I'll get one in two-minute slot. But yeah, let's go talk to Falcon and get dark weapon. My favorite buff up in the game. Dark fucking way. This thing, this thing is fucking busted, bro. It does so much damage. It does as much damage as Sunlight Blade, and you get it this early on. It's crazy. Oh, am I fucking dead? Holy fucking RTSR setup. No, thank you, bro. I'm good. Oh, that was how the hell did I fucking survive that? Oh yeah, these guys are weak to dark, so definitely buff up dark weapon. I'm glad I got it, because these guys are weak to fucking dark. Makes them a lot easier. Look at that. A quarter of his HP. One hit. Actually, might be a more than a quarter. Yeah. Actually, no, it was a quarter. That was four hits. Jesus. There it is. Soul of a giant and a forgotten key. We're also going to need that soul of a giant to fight Kendrick. Kendrick, Vendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, yeah, he's the main boss. Get the DLC key, of course. Dump down here. Heal. Roll. Roll back. Up a ladder. Open that up. Dragon Town. That's the DLC key for the Sanctum. And let's head to the DLC. Slumbering Dragon, bro. You are so cute. I mean, I love this game, but goddamn, you are so cute compared to Elden Ring Dragons. Dragon Lord Photosynthesis, whatever his name is. That motherfucker is insane, bro. It's a Hydra Dragon. He has two heads. And my buddy told me he had more than two heads, actually. It just, he's not a, he's not at his full power. These dragons better not be at full power either, because if they are, they have no chance against the Elden Ring fucking dragons. So I'll give the Elden Ring that. If I can fucking hit it. All right, get your arrows out ready. Shoot. Shoot. You're good. You should have enough time before the guy behind you gets you. And then Twinkling Titanites, in case you want them. Like I said, you really can't pass up on them. They're so beautiful. And then just jump this. If you want, there's a switch right there, which you can use for later. And then bonfire. In the meantime, soul of a great hero. And then I'm still, I still needed a tiny slab, right? So in this chest, tiny slab. And then this one we can use in the smelter hammer. Bling blau, motherfucker. Flynn's ring. That's an extra what? 50 damage, of course. Go ahead and just activate this. We're gonna come here later on, anyways. Shoot this quickly. I'm gonna show you a strat. He didn't hear me. So you just want to go down here slowly, and he won't notice you. Just don't run. You're good. See? None of them will notice you. Pick up the Dragon Stone, just like that. I want to get the Eternal Sanctum Key to get more Bonfire Aesthetics. And the Lightning Clutchering if I call for it. So there's the Eternal Sanctum Key. And that guy hesitated, bro. He knew I was going to fuck him up. Like that one scene in One Punch Man. What's his name? Carnage. He was about to hit Saitama. He was like, nope. Backs up away. So we're going to head back to this bonfire. I know I'm kind of sidetracking. But I'm just like, we're here, so we might as well do it already, you know? Now we can open this. Quit singing. How about no? How about you just quit life? I did you a favor. Head in this chest. I've bought two bonfire aesthetics. Fucking amazing. This chest has a lightning clutchering. So yeah, like I said, if we decide to use a lightning infusion, that's going to increase our damage. What the sh- DS2, by the way. Who was I hitting? The ghost behind me, bro? What the f- Is there a spirit? We're not going to kill the boss. We're just grabbing a few more items. Over here is a two bright bucks. Come on. That's so worth it. There it is. I see it. Fuck off. Grab the item and go. What was that two bonfire aesthetics? I don't even know. Holy fuck. Matrix. Return of me. Okay, just fucking go. Oh, never mind. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got shot in the back and I didn't even care. So now we got six bonfire aesthetics we got so much from this damn dlc and you can literally go back to rotten and farm them a shit ton and i guarantee you if you use all six of them on rotten you will have way more than enough to get 70 strength to one hand the smelter hammer and have enough for intelligence and faith endurance vigor and basically whatever you want if she's not gonna oh she replenished them okay never mind we're good we're chilling she replenished them so she doesn't have to go back to majula to replenish them thankfully there we go now we got that's 20 more damage fucking beautiful now we just gotta make our way towards uh mitha or no skeleton lords that's in the area we've already been to so skeleton lords covetous demon mitha old iron king we can skip smelter demon four bosses away from the smelter hammer i'm just killing the bosses that i have to kill to get the weapon you have to kill covetous demon to get past i'm pretty sure unless there's a way i don't know as far as i know without any glitches you can't skip them 
there is, let me know in the damn comments, because I'll be more than happy to skip them so I can come back to them later on with the smelter hammer. And then pick up this chest, which has... Oh, there we go. Sublime Bone Dust. I was like, what? Leggings in that chest? Did they fucking update the game? Did they change the game or some shit? I was going to say, what the fuck? And you just got shit on. Just, yeah, exhaust his dialogue. And then he's going to relocate back to Shaded Ruins. But yeah, let's do this fight. Should be fucking easy. All right, where are the, uh, where are the bone wheel motherfuckers? The boneless. I think it's this guy. Yeah, it's this guy. Oh, collateral damage. Hell yeah. Gather around, boys. Gather around. Today we're having a cemetery. Yo, they actually do damage. Not even gonna lie, bro. That was actually pretty hard. No exaggeration. Oh, there's a chunk. That's one thing for sure. That was pretty useful. Another chunk right there. Oh, that's actually beautiful. We have four. We just need two more. Yeah, I can get two. So large tanai shard. Yep, large tanai shard. Large tanai shard. Okay, now we need three more. Perfect. Large tanai shard. There we go. Tanai slab. Oh baby, I'm gonna die. One HP, bro. All right, we got RTSR. It's covered in steam, bro. How bad can it be, bro? Look at that fucking damage, bro. This motherfucker doesn't do shit. A fucking Reddit mod right here. Oh my god, he's scary. Scary boy. Bro, missing me too. Simple enough. Alright, let's keep on going. More strength, of course. More damage. Let's uh, loot this chest. As soon as we get that, we can... Uh... Oh, we're good. Yeah, there we go. We got his dialogue exhausted. What up, yo? What up, shorty? It's been a minute. How you been, girl? Oh, baby, look at that damage. Take it, take it. Oh, yeah. Holy moly. Cannoli, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, we got staggered. Goodbye. Dude, if this thing was infused, we'd be at like 700. This thing is actually strong. And like I said, it's very viable. You can get it really early on. So while I'm at it, I'm just going to go back to Majula, level up. And then I'm also going to pick up the uh, DLC key. Keep on getting more strength. Hell yeah. So I'll just drop down here. Come here, buddy. Oh, pow. Oh, really? oh my god. Oh. Pick up the key. There it is. The DLC key. He's on my ass. Anything in here? I don't think there's anything special in here. Oh, no. This is where I need to go. Yeah, so just like that, we can skip smelter demon however we can't get the bonfire uh we're gonna have to not die there we go more damage of course dog more fucking damage i'm not gonna rtsr this shit because i think the rng of him breathing fire is pretty high it's pretty common it's pretty likely and i'm terrible at dodging that unless you have a lot of adaptability it's pretty hard to dodge he breathes fire in like every direction and unless you time the dodge perfectly i'm not five adaptability no no i'm good i'm not doing rtsr bro dark weapon bright bug we'll buy more later on after we kill him and yeah i mean that one's easy to dodge but you know you never want to risk it we do enough damage look at this shit it's about 40 percent of his hp all right so far good rng beautiful one more r2 should do it see this is the attack that's fucking hard to dodge if you can dodge this you're better than me see look at that shit that's fucking impossible i don't care who you are houdini there we go See, I would have died there. I would have wasted a bright bug. Activate this. We'll get Aldia, of course, in the end. And let's head towards the DLC. So we just got to go find the Smelter Warrior. You know what we can do? Let's go back here and make it a little bit faster. Wait a second. What is this? What is the key? This iron key. What does that open up? I never really use it, to be honest. Talk to my dude over here. Yeah, buy this. Raises our item discovery. And then we talk to him. Uh, Covered a serpent ring for more item discovery. There is a tiny nice lab in here. Yeah, so now we have three. Kind of hard to just blitz through it without fucking killing them, but... I wanted to get past them because this is the area I want to be in. Because I want to go over here. We can just go ahead and fight the smelter every single time. As soon as we get the uh, the cages open. So he's the one we're going to be farming. Jesus, have mercy. Okay, we do good damage. Can I just R2 him and he's dead? Almost, damn. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me now. Ah, uh, we didn't get it. Whatever. So we open up this door so we can just run straight to him from the bonfire. All right, we got this opened up so we can literally just... Honestly, we probably bait him in here and he's dead. Yeah, what the fuck? Hold on a minute. I've never tried this before. Yeah, he should be dead. He's gonna spray fire. Yeah, that's fucking free. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, that hit me. That's an easy way to get souls for, by doing nothing. This should kill him. Anything? Oh my god, on the second run. There we go. The smelter fucking hammer. There it is, boys. 70 strength, C scaling, and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, you guys hit people? Since when do you hit people? What's up, homie? Kill 
calculated. And look at how big this fucking thing is. Wait, we're at 80%. This thing weighs so much. We're going to have to level up Vitality, which is fine. We can level it up a little bit before we lose damage from Flint's Ring. So, not too big of an issue. I don't want to be fat rolling. R1, it's pretty, uh, yeah, look at that. A double R1 is what you get from like a double R2 on uh, the other Great Hammers. The running R1. Look at that shit. That, that's a lot of distance. So, I can like say for an example, an enemy is where the corpse is. I can like start my attack right here. And yeah, so I got to start it a little bit early. Wasn't there a swing attack? Oh, it's the L2. That's right. Oh, there it is. Holy fuck. It took me a while to figure it out. That's what it was. And yeah, like I said in the beginning, believe it or not, I've never actually used this weapon at all against any bosses. I mean, I've picked it up and I've tried it out like just like this, like what I'm doing right now, but I've never actually tested it out and I didn't do a practice run. So I'm just going with the flow with this one in this video. Yeah, we need two more tiny chunks, but we can get that. No problem. 553, 571, 589, 607, 625. 643, 661, and we need two more. So let's go ahead and just farm those real quick. Uh, this tiny chunk, just need one more. Is that it? That's the one. There we go. Literally two minutes. Like if each one of those swings did the same amount of damage as one R1, it would be just like one, two, three, four, five. That's four or five swings before it launches itself off. So that would be busted. So 679, 697, and that's it. All right, let's try this shit out. Oh, hell yeah. I'm hearing multiple hits but I think it's only just one yeah it sounds like it was one. Oh, that is a good attack all right buddy come on nice hell yeah again I'll take it good RNG just gonna run backwards every time unless he does that swipe attack not that one the other one Oh, here we go. Surprised I dodged it. I don't have enough time, honestly. Double R1. No, you don't. Hell yeah. All right. So that goes up uh, 17 more for just 10 more damage, roughly. Not very worth it. So an infusion would be a lot better. We'll keep it at 50 for now. We'll infuse it later on. I'm going to need more vitality. So let me just play with the vitality real quick put two more Let's see what our equip loads at 78 or right, we'll put more into vitality later for now i just want to kill ron faster so i'm gonna get more into endurance just more endurance that's it now that we can roll faster let me just kill him a few more times level up more all right you're dead whatever probably gonna respec later to get more into intelligence and faith a uh, to get a higher damage output with an infusion so uh, i have two uh soul vessels keep that in mind so not a big deal yeah let's get the ring of bliss plus one let's use a fucking bright bug so we'll pop that dark weapon here we go here we go. Oh, baby. Come on, explode. Oh, I love you. Swing. Oh, my God. The damage is back, boys. The damage is back. L2 attack? Ah, oh, he's buffing up. Try it now. Fuck it. I'm going all out. I don't know how to properly use that thing. But it's fucking strong. Here we go. Oh my. <laughs> that swing, dude. Fucking baseball swing. No, that is so much fun. And over again. Dude, that's fucking. Oh, I've got to parry this game. Hold on. Hold on. It's been a while. Oh, I still got it. Goodbye, buddy. My lord. My lord. Here we go. Ring of Blades plus one. That is an extra. Gee, 35 damage? That's insane. I mean, I think we're ready for fucking Last Giant. I can. I'll buy those instead. Hell yeah. And then I just gotta make a way to Last Giant. So let me get a RTSR right here. No, not quite. Yeah, there we go. Just to recap, we got Ring of Blades plus one, RTSR, Flynn's Ring, a Dark Weapon, plus 10, Smelter Hammer. Here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This is going to be fun. Let me do an L2 attack. Oh my, what the fuck? Oh <laughs> shit. I'm assuming the beginning swings are not as strong, so I try to position myself properly so I make sure to land the last swing on him. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. There we go. Oh my god. 
Oh, almost. Man, almost. All right, I'll take that though. That is good. Here we are, boys, and we finally get the infusion, so more damage. Blow this bad boy up. All right, give him the dull ember, and let's see what we're dealing with in terms of more damage. Oh yeah, it's more. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's a lot more. I mean, it's not a crazy amount more, but it's still more damage. And we haven't even leveled up intelligence or faith to 30 yet, which is a soft cap. To put that into perspective, the Great Club, look at this shit. This is a lot more damage. <laughs> look at that shit. 87 more damage. This is only 38 more. Great Club is double the amount. The Dark Knight rises for now. Once we get Sacred Blade later on, or Sunlight Blade later on, we'll do, we'll switch over to a Lightning build and convert all of our intelligence into faith. We can get the Dark Clutch Ring as well in the DLC. Pretty sure we have enough souls. So we just need a million to get past the Shrine of Winter door and that's it. Here we go. Head inside this door, pick up this chest, which has our last Sublime Bone Dust. So pick up the DLC key and that's it. Uh, back to Shaded Ruins. All right, head into the DLC. From here, very simple. I'll show you guys the route. And it is right around the corner. There it is. Dark clutch ring. Beautiful. All right, let's get up out of here. 17 more damage. Hell yeah. And I want to get my intelligence and faith to 30 and 30. And after we get those stats, the build is basically complete. It's just uh, up until we get uh, Sunlight Blade and Sacred Oath. Only then will I be adding on more damage. But for now, that's pretty much it. I mean, so let me go back to uh, Ron and farm him a little bit. You guys hear that shit in the background? Fuck you, buddy. Uh, there we go. Let's keep it going. You're, you guys hear that shit? You're, somebody in the back is like, you're, let him cook. Fuck you. Yeah. All right, that's the second time. Use these. So unfortunately, we're going to have to level up Vitality a little bit. So 13. 69%. Okay. Let me just level up these in the meantime as well. So I need 30 and 30, of course. So we can do 27 and 27 for now. We'll kill him a few more times. Now we're at 803 damage. Hell yeah. And you dead. All right, that's round three. Four rounds and that's it. Bye-bye. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, Wagwan. There we go. One more Vitality, I think I should be good. Let me try this. We'll get the engraved gauntlets, see what our equip load is. And if it's a little bit too high, we'll just fucking, uh, we're gonna have to uh, level up Vitality a little bit more. But before we head to Quaylag, uh, let's head up here. Talk to him, exhaust his dialogue, and that's it. We're gonna meet him and Pate and Brightstone Cove. We're gonna catch them beefing. It's been a while. Nah. Oh, yeah. How much damage did I do? Oh, big ass big. Oh, hell yeah. Go ahead, hit me. Go ahead, buddy. Holy moly cannoli. Let me do the L2 attack. Oh, <laughs> shit. Staggered her ass. No, you don't, bitch. <laughs> Actually, not bad damage. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm toxic. Knock off Sif. First Quay leg, now Sif. That's Fergie, not Bernie Spears. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Buddha bless his cheeks. Nah, bitch, you are not puking, bro. This is not 3 a.m. after the club. What up, big boys? Yeah, one shot. One shot. <laughs> oh, my God. Should I fucking L2 this shit? I'm L2 this shit. Watch this shit. Oh, yeah. oh he blocked me. Let's try it again. <laughs> Send his ass to fucking heaven. That was fucking easy. We'll pick up this uh, bonfire aesthetic as well. Another one right there. Here they are. All right, big boy. It's been a while, but let me just... Holy fam. Ready? Ready for this shit? <laughs> Get mobbed, idiot. Give me the goddamn key and you're next. Hey, you're fucking next. He's scared, bro. He knows. He knows better. Head down here. I didn't even get knocked back. That's how heavy this goddamn weapon is. Bling blau, bling blau. Wagwan, brother, wagwan. Engraved gauntlets, there we go. Rare chance normal attacks become critical hits. Hit, <laughs> yo, we get a critical hit on this shit. Fuck me. All right, so what's our, yeah, we're at 76.9. I don't want to put the Royal Soldier's Ring, because then I'll have to sacrifice one of my damage rings. Let's try 15. I want to experiment with the Flint's Ring. Now we've lost two damage on Flint's Ring, which is okay, because I don't want to be fat rolling. We had 50 more damage from Flint's Ring, now we're getting only 39. Just 11 damage, I mean, every bit counts. But the critical hits are worth it, man. If you get a critical hit, it's so fucking worth it. Let's go kill some bosses. So we got Ron, we got Old Iron King. 
We just gotta kill Lost Center and Deuce Freya. We got our TSR. Yeah, I can one shot them. Sick. Alright, that should be all of them. Get the bright bugs ready. And then bright bug. Here we go. Give him a quick R1. Oh baby, hell yeah. Running R1? Oh, what the hell? I didn't hit? Alright, let me bait his uh, thing again. I'm gonna double R1 this shit. Aw, oh, almost. That's good enough though. That's fucking big. Yeah, let's go. Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Whoa! Oh, we're all oh, gold! Oh, I'm fucking dead. Nah, bitch, I ain't fucking dead. What's up, homies? Y'all wanna play? Alright, fuck this. Dark weapon, right bug. Let's do this shit. Alright, big boys. R2? Aw, oh, almost. Almost a one shot. Oh, that was a critical hit. I heard that. Fuck. Couldn't happen sooner. Oh, man, that's still fucking strong. Take your time, my dude. I might be dead here. How oh, am I still alive? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck, I got lucky. I wanted to do an L2 attack because I wonder if the last hit would do more damage than an R2 attack. Should be fucking easy, bro. Just gargoyle stock. And thank god it's not fucking Black Blade Kindred gargoyles. What? Where's my damage? Hold on a minute. Oh, there we go, okay. R2 attacks should do a lot more. A lot more. Yeah, I should one-shot them. Oh, baby. Fuck yeah, we're one-shotting these dudes. Smelter hammer, too. Oh, baby, there we go. An extra bright bug right there. And by the rest of the bright bugs. Uh, yeah, whatever. Free my dude. We'll come back for him for Sacred Health later on. Dark weapon. Bright bug. You know you were dead. Oh, yeah, you know you're dead. If you get hit. I want to do an L2 attack, but it's kind of risky. Ah, fuck it. Come on. Oh, shit. And I dodged her attack. Bitch, you cannot parry me. Wait, what? What the fuck? She can? She can parry this big-ass weapon? Fucking cheats, bro. Alright, bitch. There we go. Twin dick riders. What's up? And pow. Pow, pow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. R1, R1, oh man, R2, you dead, pumble cloud damage, no critical hits unfortunately, Jackie Chan, it's been a while bro, how you been, how's, how's rush hour been, oh you're just gonna block my shit, oh ho oh, oh. ho, okay, about a quarter, about a yay big, alright buddy, alright buddy, oh man, no this is fucking, this is, this is Sparta, Right, let me finish him off with an L2. L2, baby, come on, let's go. Motherfucker. The size of his forehead. Aw, oh, almost. Alright, we got him. That was a goofy ass fight. I'll take it. By right, the bright bugs. Quickly run over here. Estes shard right there. And then pick up this chest. Bling. Blah. Sunlight blade, baby. Actually, yeah, we'll put it on before Velstat since he's weaker to lightning. So he's a lot more resistant to dark. But for Seaman the Dong, is actually weaker to dark. I'm gonna L2 his ass. Come on. Okay. Okay. Double R1, perhaps. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, indeed. One R2 and you're dead. I love it. I'm loving it, bro. There's a reason why I'm holding a drumstick, because I'm loving it. Infuse. So the damage is going to drop off. We're at 797. We'll get it up there. Watch. We'll infuse it with lightning. We'll put this on. Now we're at 778. I'm going to need to level up uh, Faith anyways to increase the duration for uh, Sacred Oath and Sunlight Blade. I believe like 54 is like is what maximizes the uh, duration of Sunlight Blade uh, when you're at 54 Faith. The more you level up into Faith, the more damage you're going to get from the lightning infusion. So I'm going to have to get 25 one for Sunlight Blade and one for Sacred Oath. Sacred Oath takes up four slots. We'll farm Ron to get this up to 54, for sure. I want to get max duration on my Sunlight Blade. Hey, there we go. All right, one more hit. Nice. So yeah, we can bring this pretty much back to what we had with the Dark Infusion. 796, 797. 814. That's 14 more damage. It's not really that big. Let me know. What do you guys think? Is that worth it? 19 more damage. 
to bring my faith to 72 and my strength to 99. It's just 815. It's not really that big. What up, my dude? Here we go. Holy fuck. Since when? Since when do I do damage like this? Is he gonna transform? He is. Nah, bitch. Keep hitting his ass. Jeez. Ah, uh, Loki fucked up, but whatever. Still fucking easy as shit. Vendrick Lamar, what are you saying, homie? Trade. And Sacred Oath. Hell yeah. But we're at 495. 817. 21 more damage, so that's pretty good. Use Sacred Oath first, then Bright Buck to stack it. If you use Bright Buck first, it'll cancel it out. Oh, baby. Excuse me, my guy did two steps. R1, R1. Hell yeah. My guy, goodbye. Alright, my guy. Oh, still sitting down, huh? There we go. Okay. Give you a pedicure, homie. I got you. No fly, motherfucker. Do not do that again. Here we go. Hell yeah. L2? Sheesh. The perfect enemy for that attack. One more time, come on. Hey, we got his ass. Hell yeah. Dark Lurker. Alright, so my blade. Oh, she coming quick, huh? And we're good. Get your ass over here. Yeah. Stop moving. There she is. What up, bitch? Oh, you missed. Couldn't be me. Oh, shit. Oh, I dodged it. Bro. Oh, hell no. Worst timing. Bro. That would have been so nice if I got both of them. Fuck it, dude. Hit both of them. Bro. Fuck you. Come on. Hit both of them. Hey, hey, hey. Get fucked. Here I go. Oh, I'm fat rolling. Jeez, bro. Relax. Holy. Yeah, so Dark would do more damage against him, but this is plenty of damage. I mean, plenty. Look at this shit. Dead, homie. Get more adaptability. Strength, yeah. Let's go, big boy. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's mad. For sure, he's mad. I think he's... Oh, baby. Give me a critical hit. Come on. Give me at least one. At least one. I'm doing an L2 attack. Shit, I missed. I got a critical hit, though. That counts. Blood clot. He do damage. Relax, my dude. Be humble, dog. Come on. Sit down. Uh-uh-uh. How the hell I miss? Uh-oh. What the hell is you doing? R1, R2? I love it. Uh, Buddha bless his cheeks, bro. Come on, let's go. Bam! Oh, Lord have mercy. What the bumble cloth is that? Cheese. Yo, no hit run. Let's... It's my guy. I'm just gonna love that fucking adaptability. And uh, endurance. Let's fuck up the throne watchers. We're running and attack this shit, bro. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus, where you at, dog? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, bitch, you do not. Oh, my lord. Come on, hit her. Oh, almost. Bitch. Oh, how am I still alive? Man, you fucked up. Shouldn't have done that. Sheesh. Easy, bro. Yeah, let's go. I don't give a shit. All my shit wore off, but whatever. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Bro, half her HP already. Boom. Boom. Come on, kill her ass. Ah, uh, if only I got a critical. Eh, yeah, whatever. Hell yeah. Where is he at? There he is. Come on. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, okay, not bad. Oh, hell yeah, more attacks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're almost there. Again. So, what's up, big boy? Boom. Boom. R2. Holy. You better come. L2 to finish it off. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, alligator. That's the majority of the base game bosses. With the exception of like the royal rat gank fight, whatever. Executioner Syria. I believe we got most of them. I, you know, I'm usually like indecisive on whether or not I should do those. They're pretty boring, honestly. 
All right, let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh you done talking? Oh, critical hit. Fuck yeah. What up, skeleton boys? Bitch, you cannot. Yeah, you is dead. Wake up, my guy. Time to go to school. All right, my dude, relax. This guy's swinging like there's no tomorrow. Hit his ass. Oh man. Hit him again. Keep going. Don't stop till you get enough. Come on. No, 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 huh? Wait, bro, chill out. I was joking. It was a prank. Breathe fire. Man, fuck this shit. Alright, I got time. You coming? He's coming. Not like that. One more hit. Ooh. Holy fam, that was smooth criminal, dog. I like it. Alright, that's the first crown, baby. Let's go do the fucking gang fight. Aw, she. Right, where's this fucker at? Come here. Come here, dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Hold on, bro. Motherfucker. Hell yeah, same frame. What can I say, buddy? How you not get staggered? Impossible. Get fucked. This guy that staggered. No way, the R2 doesn't stagger them. That's busted. There we go. Finally. Alright, buddy, relax. Yeah, I'm gonna pop an aesthetic here. Is it in this corner? I think it's in this corner. Yeah, two more bright bugs. Beautiful. Let's get the fuck out. What up, big boy? Giant tiger, come on, let's go. You stupid. You are dumb. Man, how the hell did that hit me? Bam, bam. Oh, the double attack. Keep it going. Oh, you ruined it. That roll attack is busted. Bam, bam. Bro, you f it's fucking easy, dog. I hit him at the front and at the end. I love it. I gotta try that more. Alright, homie, you was free to go. That's the first homie that's freed up. That's the second one. Nah, bitch. Watch this shit. Oh, you're lucky. <laughs> What's that emo you do? This? Nah, my emo now, bitch. Come on, my dude. Let's go, dog. Get the fuck up out of here. You guys already know. Autobots, roll the fuck out. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Probably should have waited already. Oh, hell no. I got adaptability, bro. Sorry to tell you. Oh, there we go. Again? Alright, you got me. Ah, she. Alright, clutch this shit. Come on. L2, I'm going for it. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I fucking tracked him down with that last L2 attack. That was beautiful. Unite, honestly, as easy as ever. That's all three crowns. So we just gotta get Sir Motherfucking Alone. Final fight. We are at 818. Alright, big boy, let's go. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's good damage. Alright, buddy. Oh, man, no seppuku. Fuck the seppuku, bro. What matters is you die. That's what matters. Man, I got no stamina. R2. Holy fam. That's blessed, no? Oh! I love to see it. We gotta finish it off with an L2. Have to, bro. Here we go. Here we go. No! One HP, bro. Fuck you. Oh, man. Here we go. What the fuck am I hitting? Come on. Come on. No! How did he miss me? What's going on, bro? What is going on? Uh, we don't even know. We're both missing. Here we go. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> Let's fucking go. That's a tough attack to use. You gotta distance yourself properly. Unless you want to hit them with these, you won't be able to finish the move because he's gonna, he's gonna stagger you out of it. So, and that was that was good. No seppuku, but that was good damage. Smelter Demon. We got Slumbering Dragon, Fume Knight, Sir Alone, Ava, Ivory, Elena. That's all the DLC bosses. And we got the gang fight. We just, we don't get a soul from them except for whatever Ludden Zalen. Fuck that shit. Uh, uh, no, nope. I don't even want to hear it. I'm good, bro. Yeah, Smelter Hammer, Grave Gallants as usual. Critical hits. Man, those are so fucking satisfying. I highly recommend putting these on. You you won't get them all the time, but once you do get a critical hit, it's fucking amazing. I could have gotten the Ring of Blades plus two from uh, the twin or the dual uh, pursuer fight, but not a big deal, honestly. Honestly, I just forgot about it as I'm returning to DS2. There's a few things that I'm forgetting on the side. Other than that, with the Lightning Clutch Ring, uh, Flynn's Ring, and the Clorinthy Ring, because you're definitely going to need the stamina recovery on a weapon like this. 796. With Sacred Oath, we got uh, 818, you know, Bright Bug was probably more, all that sort of stuff. Uh, level 213, you can get 70 to one-hand it, but I find that the two-hand attacks are the most fun to use, so there's no point in one-handing it unless you're, like, pulling out a shield. Nah, but yeah, that's pretty much it, boys. I'm glad to be back on DS2. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. So yeah, let me know in the comments uh, some of the things you might want to see. I might do them, you know. I had a lot of fun with this build, for sure. I wanted to try some of the randomizer mods in the, in this game. However, the enemy randomizer mod got taken down off of the website. I feel like that would be cool. You know, enemy randomizer, item, fog gate, just like, a, just like the one I did in DS1. This has been the Smelter Hammer build. Not too crazy, not too complicated. Just a simple, damaging, powerful weapon. I love it. I'll see you boys in the next one, eh? All right, take it easy, boys.